on Zoom. And I was thinking, okay. what, what's the look we've got going on here? I was thinking it's maybe slightly reclusive kind of French professor or explorer or uh, that, that kind of... It's got that kind oh. of... Well, the whole thing, yeah, you know, the, the goatee beard and the glasses, it's that... It, there's a look there. Well, I've spent the last year staring at a computer. I've gone blind, so I just I have to... These I can't see anything these days, honestly. I'm not going for a look, it kind of just happens. It's just something I threw together. <laughs> Very casually. Now, you've been on a bit of a trip. We have, yes, we went to Madagascar. I mean, this is about a year ago now, because there's a long gap between filming it and it getting to air. So it, uh, it'll be on uh, very shortly. And we have, we went on one of our adventures, this time looking for treasure. Don't ask, we're grown men, we should know better. Yeah, well, that's the joy of it, isn't it? It's grown men kind of doing the things like tapping into the inner child, of course. Yeah, not, a lot of, not a lot of dignity in that, is Yeah, it, it doesn't, the dignity schmignity. So what were the highlights of Madagascar? It must have been a real treat just to be there. George, you know. I've a bit long been on my list. I'm so I, I realise I'm a lucky boy in many, many, many ways. Um, but that's a particularly good one, is that places I want to go, I end up going with work. I'd always wanted to visit, and it is such a, a rich place. It's beautiful to see. Um, the roads, we learned, were pretty tough. We'd been warned uh, this road is... Well, actually, to be fair, James warned us that a friend of his had warned him that it's very rough. And uh, it really was. Uh, we've never encountered anything like it. Well, well we've driven a lot on a lot of roads, kind of all over the world, but this was unlike anything we've ever encountered. So what I'm gathering from that, Richard, is that the, the scenery may change, the bickering does yeah. not. <clears throat> no, no, um, it doesn't. It, it's funny, we, we do... <laughs> things just happen naturally when we three do stuff together. Things go wrong naturally, boats sink, cars crash. It just happens. But in that instance, yeah, I mean, the pirate was real. The boost was a pirate and reputedly uh, did bury his treasure. And there was a code that leads to it, so we set out to find it. And I couldn't have been happier, because I like pirates. I mean, you know, proper pirates from history. They were romantic figures, I think. Um, Richard, it's been really interesting. You said you've been sat in front of a computer for the last yeah. year. As All of us. Uh, yeah, indeed. Well, some, I'm actually very lucky I've been able to come to work. But um, how has it been for you? Um, do you know what? I'm not going to say, oh, poor me, because I, I've had a really easy time of it, to be honest. You know, I'm very, very lucky. A lot of my work can be done by computer. It's been a bit weird not to travel. I mean, uh, my passport, I, uh, I've lost my, you know, the airlines give you posh cards if you fly a lot. Well, obviously, I do normally for work. I've been demoted. I haven't got my fancy gold card in. And they don't warn you. It just arrives in the post. Mr Hammond, here is your new silver. Then here is your new bronze card. Then Mr Hammond, OK, you can fly with us if you must, whenever you do again. So that, that's been an effect for me. I'll tell you um, what, though, you're in Tier 1. You know, we've been talking a lot now about people yeah. who have been moving up to Tier... Th Look at your smile, Tier 1. So come on, <laughs> let us we live. We can't have tier competition. You know, we can't... No, no, no. Really bad. No, no, no. <laughs> what you're going to do, this is what you're going to do for, for us uh, this morning, right? So we can't do what you do, like driving in fast cars. That's kind of too remote and, you know, in crazy places. What you can do... Well, well, what you can do is tantalise us, paint the picture of you going out for a meal, maybe just meeting a friend, out. maybe sitting at a bar. Just just tell us what it's going to be like. Well, I'm, I'm a bit scared to do it. I mean, I live in Herefordshire, which is absolutely has just moved into Tier 1, largely because it's one of the least populated counties in the country. There's nobody here. Um, but, yeah, I can just go out of the door. And I'm, I've got to read up the rules. It's not today. It's from tomorrow, I think, isn't it? I could, I could go to, like, a pub. And by the way, publicans across the country, I'm so sorry you've had such a time of it. But I could go to one and meet, like, what they call them? Friends, a friend. Mm -hmm. I could meet a friend. Reality. Actually meet them opposite a table and, and have a pint with them. Are you, are you going to get a special outfit? Are you, are you going to dress up a little bit for it? You know, because the thing was, you didn't dress up to go to the pub, did you? But now you're going out. Yeah. Do you, do you feel that? Does anybody, if you actually get to go anywhere now, I'm, I, I, it's, I've got a shirt on today, look. This is an actual shirt. And I've got long trousers on, I shan't show you, but I have. Because for the first eight months of the year, I just wore shorts and a T-shirt, which I never do. It's very, it's, yeah, that's a very old thing. But I don't know what it's going to be like leaving the house and just stepping out into the world. Um, I mean, I'm in Hereford. There's not that much to do, but what yeah. it is, I can do. Just on a last thought, Richard, you Zooming with your uh, colleagues, Jeremy Clarkson yes. on the Zoom, is that, does that work well? Is that, is that going um, well? If you imagine somebody giving an orangutan a computer and telling them that they can communicate with other apes across the world, it's like that. Um, it's very loud. 
from Barry Shadley. Oh, like? and by the way, will you please say hello to Nick Miller for me? Because every time he comes on my telly in the morning, and obviously I'm always home now, so I'm in the kitchen watching you guys every morning. Every time he comes on, I started in radio with Nick 32 years ago, BBC Radio York. When I started in radio, he and he was one of the grown-ups. He was like a proper broadcaster. So that's 32 years ago. Hello, Nick. I well, there you go. The, the job is done. Uh, <laughs> lovely to see you this morning. Uh, and you, a lot of people will love... We all need a bit of escapism at the moment, so a lot of people will love what you're doing. It's it that is. kind of feel, isn't it? it is. Take care. Yeah, it's very good. Nice.